So if you look at construction uh, of our current construction site, nothing really changed in the last 100 years. If you compare the productivity of manufacturing and building industry in the last 40 years, um, there was almost no increase in the building industry. We believe that the force, the new generation of digital fabrication can be a game changer for building industry. So far, 3D printing in architecture is mostly used for making prototypes. We can do fantastic geometries. We have no cost for complexity and no cost for mass customization, so all the parts can be different without extra cost. But these properties are also very relevant and meaningful for large-scale architecture. So in our research, we are trying to scale up printing processes and bring them to construction site. We are working with one of the biggest 3D printers in the world. This is a printer that can print 4 by 2 by 1 meter in 36 hours, and it has a resolution which is roughly 400 times bigger than this screen, what you see here. But the question is, of course, what to do with 3D printing? Why should we bring 3D printing to architecture? One thing is we are facing more and more complexity in building elements. Architecture is an overlay of multiple systems that all have to be compressed and we hope to integrate all these systems with 3D printed components together. Another important aspect is reducing material. If you look at nature, in this bone structure you find only material where it's needed, only where there's stress. If you would like to build as efficient as this, construction cost would increase dramatically, but with 3D printing we hope that this could be possible. So both ideas of integrating functions and reducing material we are currently integrating in the development of prefabricated 3D printed ceiling for a real building. We try to integrate thermal activation, acoustic performance and reducing the weight of this ceiling. Therefore, we are using this binder jet printer that I just showed. Binder jet printing has a big advantage to other printing strategies because you can really create inner structures and cantilevers because the printed part is always supported by loose sand. The property is really like normal sandstone, so in this project we combine it with reinforced concrete to, in order to save up to 80% of material for this optimized structure. And we use almost the same algorithm that nature uses for the optimization of a bone. So here you see the first scale prototype of the ceiling. But if you want to fully explore the potential of 3D printing in architecture, we also need new design instruments. We need instruments to, to be able to control this potential of information that we can materialize right now. Here you see forms that are only, we cannot draw them anymore as architects, but we can only generate them with a computer. So we have a whole family of forms, previously unthinkable to be able to construct. But now we, have, we also develop algorithms, like was mentioned before, in voxel space that can control the volumetric properties of these forms. How stable are they? Where are their undercuts? Uh, how do we segment them into pieces? And this we do in the same resolution as the large 3D printer. We were able to apply this research into a demonstrator, the first 3D printed room, which demonstrates computational design. This is a room that is described by hundreds of gigabytes of data and demonstrates the fabrication. It is printed out of 50 3D printed bricks, all printed in only one week and assembled together. But it's very important to take a closer look at these bricks. Not only they're able to create this ornament, but we can also optimize each single brick. We can include details for handling, for alignment of the stones. We can reduce the material thickness layer by layer, brick by brick, in order to optimize these smart stones, as we call them. So here you see the back side of the installation. Important for architecture is also we have to be very precise. We are here working without mortar. So we can create these large bricks in a precision of less than a millimeter tolerance. But even more relevant for architecture is that fabricating this back side of the structure was not shorter than creating this front side. So there was for the printer, it does not matter at all if we print 100 times the same box, rectangular, or this highly elaborated forms. And that is really a game changer, a disruptive a paradigm change in architecture. Complexity is not a constraint anymore, but a, uh, an opportunity for architecture. I showed now two streams of our research, two aspects. One is to integrate function to optimize material, the other is also to find an architectural language or new architectural forms that are now made possible by this technology. The future of our research will be to bring these streams together. Thank you.